Welcome to QA Scripts. It's a one-stop solution for software automation testing tools online and classroom training needs. QA Scripts is a one-click reachable center for software quality assurance freelancing. QA Scripts is a pool of professionals with highest passion of sharing their expertise with people in need and provide quality software application to client with minimum budget. We also provide 100% hands-on experience training on open source tools such as Code Java, Selenium WebDriver, APM, and also commercial tools such as HP Lean FT, HP UFT or QTP, and SOAP UI. We provide services to clients as freelancer to have defect-free application by performing functional, web service, and automation testing using automation tools. For training or application testing needs, please contact us using email or call details provided below. Hi friends, welcome back to QA Scripts video series on how to work with Excel sheet. In our uh, previous uh, two videos, how uh, we learned that how to configure uh, Apache UI jars and how to use some of the keywords or classes such as XSSF workbook and XSSF sheet to read the data from Excel sheet. And this was the program. Now we will understand how to use uh, the data what uh, we are reading from Excel sheet in application. So it's a, a kind of a real time usage of this program. For that, what I have uh, done is here I have uh, uh, written a script to launch a browser, place the URL called demo.napcommerce.com then it will uh, click on register link so here is the uh, complete uh, uh, application that is a demo.nopcommerce.com so what it will do first it will click on register link then it will select the radio button such as gender that is male radio button here then I have coded to enter QA scripts here in the first name. Then it will verify whether the last name field is displayed or not. If it is displayed, it will enter scripts here. As of now, I'm entering manually. And then it will click on knob commerce uh, image here so that it will comes back to home page. So this is a simple script I have uh, uh, created. We will use this function to read the data and also will integrate with the register uh, class or script so that we can uh, use reading data in real time. If you observe this method, here I have uh, directly hard coded the path of seed or file and the name of sheet and uh, I'm displaying all the data which I'm going to read from Excel in this method but since I want to use the data which is uh, going to read here in another script so I have to modify this and I have to make it very generic because as of now this program will work with sheet called QA and the file called test.xlsx but if I want to use the same method for another seed what I have to do I have to change the seed uh, path as well as seed name so think that you have a hundred script so each time if you want to use this program every time you have to come back and change the path if the script is using different excel files and seed no it is very difficult to come back to script and do modification every time 
instead of this you we will modify this method in such a way that it should not expect any modification means i have to make it very generic so that i can reusable wherever it is necessary so let me do the changes here first then i will explain the first change what i would like to do is i don't want to make this as main the test or main method instead of that i will create a method separate method and i will create two parameters one is for path another one is for seat so what i have done here i have uh, renamed the method as test data from excel and here i have created two parameters one is file path and another one is seat name now i will not hard code any path here instead of that i will say file path it's the same for seat name instead of hard coding seat name i will uh, pass the parameter so that i can pass the value value of that parameter in script such as register also i want to use the count of rows this is the variable i would like to use in another class hence let me make these variables public this is a final method so i have made the seat object as well as a row count variable as public and uh, i have uh, removed the date the line which is uh, displaying uh, uh, data because i want to use that data in other classes i have also modified the test.xlsx and here i have uh, given two columns that is one is first name another one is last name and here is the data so three rows of data i have so that i can make my script to work for three sets of test data based upon number of rows the excel sorry the data script is going to iterate let me do that coding here as i was explaining this is a simple method this is uh, uh, it will launch the browser place the url and uh, it will do some activities and here i have used test ng annotations let me execute first then show you how it works script uh, execution has started so launch the browser place the url clicked on the register clicked on mail selected uh, sorry entered a qa and script in the last name then it clicked on knock commerce uh, image so that it landed back to home page so if you look at the execution there are no failures here so this is a warning i have because uh, i don't have uh, a log force as of now so that's not a problem for us now if you observe this script is working for only one data that is also hard coded value no i don't want to hard code and i want to execute this script for multiple data or by using multiple sets of test data let me do modification in this method or script what i have to do here is i want to call the method test data from excel in register script in in order to call what i want to do is i want to use constructor if you remember the constructor is nothing but a, it's a method which is going to have same name as a class and that constructor will going to call first before any other method calls so let me create one constructor so here is the constructor i have created that is public register inside the public uh, sorry inside the constructor i will call the method test data from excel and i will pass the parameters values here so let me pass the path and seat of the excel seat path of my excel seat is a uh, test.xls and uh, name of the seat is qa as you observed here and what i will do here i have to extend see here 
if you don't extend from register to read data from Excel, you cannot use test data from Excel method. So here I'm using inheritance concept so that I can use all the objects data uh, as well as uh, uh, variables methods which are present inside the read data from Excel. So now since row count will be having count of uh, rows used in the Excel sheet. I will use this uh, row count and uh, in cons uh, sorry in uh, script what I will do I will use for loop and I will uh, call the registration method inside the for loop. So here is the complete code of for loop. Now what I will do I will create two param uh, variables one is first name and last name so that I can assign the data of first name and uh, last name which is coming from Excel sheet. So here are the two string variables. So I have created uh, string variables at the class level. So here I'm using seat object which is created in the method called test data from Excel sheet and this is a public method using seat dot get row of i i is nothing but the value one so that it will it will start reading from the second row and here i'm using dot get cell of zero i am uh, directly placing zero because i believe that the columns are not going to change but rows are going to change now it has three sets of test data next time you can make it as 10 or 100 but I believe that columns will not going to change. So using that concept here I am saying get cell of 0. 0 is nothing but it's a first column that is first name and uh, here I am uh, using get string cell value because this is a string format of cell. Next here I am saying c dot get row of i get cell of 1. 1 is nothing but second column that is last name and I am assigning to a variable called last name. So I will use first name in the script and I will replace the hard coded value by the variable called first name. In the same way I will replace the last name hard coded value in the script by variable called last name. So now how it works is when I start executing first uh, data will come here and it will assign to first name that is QA and to last name it will be script and since I am calling registration inside this uh, uh, for loop so it will click on mail radio button and it will enter first, na first, uh, first name as QA last name as script. And here uh, I have uh, used for loop so it will come back to the uh, for header and uh, i becomes 2. So when i becomes 2 what happens it will start reading the data from third row that is Harshit as first name last name as Kumar and the same will be assigned uh, to these variables and it will be placed in the application. Let's see how it works by executing the script. Here I have used a hard coded value of uh, thread dot script in order to make uh, sure that the uh, script executes slow and uh, it will be easy to see but in real time we will not use this uh, thread dot script instead of that we will use uh, uh, inbuilt method of uh, 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 selenium so that it will be easy to work. So let me execute. So the script execution has started. Now browser has got opened and it's a placing the URL. It clicked on register, it clicked on mail and QA script it is entered. Next time it's coming and entering Arshit and Kumar. Third one, it's a Samarth as a first name, Gauda as last name. So the script execution completed. So here you can see all the script passed that is the same script has got executed three times because we have three sets of test data. If I 
increase to four or maybe I can add uh, one more uh, uh, data here as uh, first name uh, uh, Raj and uh, second name as Seker and I will save this script and let me execute so that it should execute four times. The script execution again started and place the URL clicked on register so QA script it has entered Harshit Kumar Samarth Gauda and Raj Sekar. So it dynamically takes the data from Excel and it iterates based upon the data which is present inside the Excel sheet. This is data is going to drive the script. So the same concept will be using in data driven framework. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please contact us using mail ID that is info at qscripts.com or qscripts25 at the rate gmail.com or you can also call us using numbers displayed here if you want to become part of online training. Thank you.